Hi, my name is Nico from the band called One Morning Left, and you are watching Local Band Smoke Out. We'll start it off. Ladies and gentlemen, catch your breath! Yeah, hell yeah! Hello! Yes! yes. A lot has happened since yes, the sir. last time we talked, fellas. A lot has happened. You guys are signed, you're touring all over the place. It seems like the tours don't stop. Just talk to me. How is life right now? It is a never-ending cycle of rocking. <laughs> this is <laughs> this what, this what dreams are made of. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Would you, you agree, Teddy? Like, what, what? Tell me, tell me, if you could just like dumb it down to to uh, a common sense, because I know you're, you're kind of getting used to it now, because there's so many shows and so many awesome bands you're on the road with. But what is what is just the most fun part of this whole experience of achieving what you wanted your whole life as far as being a musician? Um, honestly, just finally like touring, traveling, and playing in front of people. I think it's like when one, one of the funnest parts for me is uh, meeting people and like hanging out with people and making new friends and stuff. I think that's like my favorite. Would you agree, Keenan? Uh, took the words out of my mouth on that one. Yeah. Who who is the the nicest band that you guys have gone on the road with? I know they're all cool, they're all homies, but who is like mm -hmm. the most kind to you? Played the least pranks on you on the road? Who's that band? I mean, they're all super nice, of course, but I'd have to say it was definitely Memphis. Memphis, Mac. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That is awesome. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you are are nominated for one of our uh, our first annual local band smoke out awards. There's 21 categories, and you're nominated for a category that you're not really known for: best blah. Best blah. Best blah. Right. Because of From the cycles. song uh, "Cycles," which has just a crazy blow, which is a uh, is that something that you guys told uh, told told him that he should do, or you he just kind of winged that on his own? I think I think it's something he always wanted to do. Yeah, I think I I didn't hear the second half of your answer, Teddy. I'm sorry. I, I was saying like he winged that himself. He winged it, hell yeah. What do you guys do on, on a rare day off? Or I know it's probably like sometimes lately, it's probably like a week or two in between tours. What do you do during that time? Asides, hang out with family and friends, like. Well, on the last tour, uh, we had a lot of time off because our van broke down. <laughs> so a lot of that was just like uh, scrambling around trying to find a new van and or fixing the one that already broke down. Mm -hmm. Um, and usually uh, days off on tour when we don't have a whole cataclysm happening consists of, you know, fixing up the van, doing laundry, uh, maybe stopping somewhere to eat, sitting down, getting some mm -hmm. good food in our stomachs, uh, seeing a movie, maybe if we have the time. Usually it's just driving, though. It's you know, a lot of driving. driving. Yep. Do you get yeah. do you get a lot of time to do like sightseeing when you're in places for for half a day sometimes? We definitely go out of the way to like if there's something really, you know, substantial coming up. Uh I remember we went to see Niagara Falls uh, on the Attila tour. We we're like none of none of us wanted to miss that, so we like, you know, scheduled to see what we could fit in there. That's cool. Yeah, yeah see the sights. I know Lizzie has a question. She wanted to be here today, but her little one is ill. Uh, she said, uh, "The tour inside, the tour inside my head." With "Until I Wake" and "Dark Divine," can you tell us your favorite moments and what show was the best on that tour? And did anything go wrong? Like maybe something failed in the middle of a set or something. We haven't heard that story. Okay. Um, Nothing really failed on that on that tour. Yeah, by that by that Anything. time we were like really we were troubleshooting a lot to make sure nothing went wrong. Prepare. Yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. Got to be prepared. Yeah. Well, well, actually, 
uh, at first it was our in-ear wireless systems since the entire tour package had the same exact equipment on the same uh, frequency bands. So like the channels that were available were already used up. So we had to get everyone to turn off their shit (laughs) before we (laughs) played because there was like no way. It was just such an unfortunate like like everyone had the same equipment. So it's like, oh, there's only a certain amount of channels available per city or per, per state. So it's like, well, just turn it off. And luckily they're cool about it. They're I've like never heard. I've, I, I know exactly what you're saying. But I've never heard of that causing an issue before where everyone had the exact same in-ear setup. But I could see how like you, all the channels would get all screwed up and you'd hear the almost wrong the, thing and stuff. It's almost a persistent issue. It's just like so mundane to people that don't have to deal with it. It doesn't really get brought up. <laughs> Yeah, especially as a as an opener for for tours, like the the bands before you will do their scans and they'll get the cleanest channels available on their scans, and then whatever's whatever's left is the openers, and then hopefully the opener has the, the adequate equipment to get channels that are available. For and sure, we are not at that point yet. <laughs> mm. Oh, here we go, switching it on up on us. Here we go. We got Onel. What's up? What's up? You're muted, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm cooking dinner right now. Ah, what you cooking? Mm, chicken, Mediterranean chicken, dude. Mediterranean chicken, awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. What do you guys uh? What do you guys do for when when? Let's rephrase the question. When uh, you're you have to. What's a tour necessity that you can't forget? Two or three things Locks that, besides like the 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 usual stuff, like now don't say like baby wipes and you know stuff like that, like something that we maybe would have never thought of. Something never People forget the hydrate. Oh yeah. Cooler. Usually has. Oh yeah, I cool. Oh my god, that's just the game. Cooling. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. It's cool, cool, cooler, cooler. Oh okay, okay. I like to put lunch meat in. You gotta, you gotta really be going camping almost. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. I not, the, not the usual stuff, but it cannot be understated how much underwear you're gonna want to have. <laughs> Bring them Hanes. Well, Bring well, the Hanes. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy, you, uh, tell him. What you got, Teddy? Uh, I'll just say cooler, um, but um, something that not really people think about. Um, shit, I don't know. Besides, like, the mundane, like, the everyday basic shit that you would want to bring, um, I would say, you know, cologne. Ah! Ah, okay. Yeah, because you're going to stink. It's a good call. Yeah. So we got, uh, <laughs> the next, the next tour is, uh, with the Word Alive, correct? Starting We're left, starting yeah. really soon. Let's plug that real quick. Tell tell us about that tour coming up. Yeah, it's uh, from Ashes to New, the Word Alive, us and Echo. We're we're here in the road uh, next week, n- n- November twenty first, the first day of the tour, and it goes all the way to December seventeenth. It's gonna be a twenty one total shows, I think, on the tour. I think I saw also that you guys uh, you have Thanksgiving off that day. Is there is there plans to do anything on that off day for Thanksgiving? I mean, most likely, dude, we're gonna be depressed because we're away from family. <laughs> Just, yeah. But no, yeah, we so probably uh, we'll go to Golden Corral. Get a lot of food. Yes. Golden Corral. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know what? <laughs> they have decent food, and it's actually clean there. Okay. Yeah. That's and a great a idea, price, actually, because they'll, they'll have the turkey, the stuffing, the potatoes. They'll have all that, so it's like you didn't even miss anything. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is there is there um, somebody who has a bad habit in the band that we're allowed to talk about? There's there's some stuff that's you know borderline. We don't want to know that stuff. But is there who's got who's got the worst bad habit in the band? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. What's a funny one? Everyone has bad habits. Yeah, I mean a lot of people now, like now that we've we've toured a lot, we have we figured out ways to like do things more efficiently and, and, and stuff, especially for this next tour. Um, I would say 
Maybe snoring? Not everyone, but like everybody leaves like drinks unfinished or like drinks like that is bottles cool. in, oh, so the, in the bus or in the van or something. So van littering. Van, yeah, littering. Yeah, van littering. 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 <laughs> yeah, they got everyone this year. That's funny. Hell yeah. Uh, is when is the when is the plans to to go in and start working on the next EP and or album? I know there's a lot more touring to be done on it, but but has that been briefly discussed? Maybe like summertime, we start doing some demos, pre-pro with somebody. Um, honestly, it's just like whenever we have time. Yeah, the producers be like, "Come on down, whenever y'all want. I got you." He has a new studio, and it's pretty fucking sick. He's like, "Just come on down, and we'll get started whenever." Is, um, is that is that something like right now though? Like you kind of have just like a couple rough. 16 bar licks ready to go or is that you'd, you'd rather kind of go into it fresh with with the producer's ideas and start from scratch um i mean we did the album pretty much on, on like a couple except like a couple of songs everything on the album was like was done from scratch like right there and then like you just get in the studio sit down all right how are we feeling and then whoever we're feeling start making the, the, the record it's such an awesome process but uh, maybe I was thinking I might go visit Curtis. Uh, but when are we done? Ship Rock, basically. We have nothing uh, for January. February, like tenth. Yeah, so we have nothing for January. I might go hang out with him yeah. a little bit. Do you, do you Actually, think... I, was, I was going over there too in January. With my yeah, friend. let's go. There we go. It's perfect. Yeah, so I can trip, I can trip out of it. Fuck it. It's, it's perfect. Out. Is there is there plans to maybe have a, a couple of features in the future? I know you guys made oh, yeah. a lot of homies uh, because of all the tours and stuff, so I imagine so-and-so jumping on a track or something for a single would be really cool. Yeah, I definitely want to explore more features on the new app record. Uh, definitely is just, like, just really fun. I know The Word Alive did, like, almost all their, all their record just features. I, th I think that's pretty fucking cool. So I love it. Yeah, we could probably get Noah Sebastian from Bad Omens like they did. That'd be sick. That would be That'd awesome. That'd be insane. Is there is there like a dream? It'd almost be impossible to get this person on a song, but just hypothetically, Post Malone. Post Malone? I like that. Yeah, answer. that'd be so sick. How's your cooking going, bro? Like... Your your cooking is it good? Don't burn anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you think? Who who would uh, who would a feature be for you? I really don't know. Honestly, I never thought about it. Yeah, I would have said uh, Malone or Holly Sykes. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I've been like digging the week and stuff again, so that's that'd insane. Be <laughs> that'd be weird, but other than that, I don't know. It would be everywhere if you got if you got pretty much any of those artists on the song. It'd be everywhere for sure. But yeah. is it, what are your what are your what does your guys' family think? Your family and your friends when you come back into town? Like, do they all say the same thing? Like, you're celebrities now, blah blah blah, or, or do they do they treat you any differently? Um, no, not really. For the most part, I mean, no. I mean, there's like people that joke about it. Uh, a lot of people are just like happy that you know, you got some loser. We're happy for you, for real. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. How is how is uh working with Thriller all the time? As far as them being like the family of the label. They're awesome. They're taking good care of us. Well, then, there we go. <laughs> Is there anything that you think that maybe we didn't plug or promote that we need to talk about or mention before I let you guys go? Um, I guess they visit our merch store, the actual Catch Your Breath merch store. Teddy can tell you to do that. Yes, yeah. go online, buy our merch, please. We can get okay. the hat there? We can get the hat there? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, and more importantly, come out to a, a show on, on the on the tour coming up. Yeah, Pick up a, we're selling vinyls on the tour, so that we're is selling vinyls and a bunch of new merch. Oh, okay, when, and, when it, uh, I do want to ask a vinyl question that I didn't know that uh, when it comes to that process, everyone's got the cool colored variants and stuff. Did you guys have a hand in picking all of that, or is that like suggestions that Thriller was like, oh, what do you think about these ones? Uh, well, yeah, they they sent us like a bunch of variants, different of options to choose from. And then the two that we picked were like, 
these are the ones that make sense. Yeah. Does it, does it kind of like go with the, the theme of the artwork? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, perfect. Because, I mean, we could say, yeah, like, do it like that. And then if the vinyl producer doesn't, like, make that color, then it just wouldn't happen. So we uh, offer, like, ten different things to choose from. Like, these are the closest. That's cool. So, Sounds like yeah. good stocking stuffers, if you ask me. For sure. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate your time again. We're we're so ecstatic that things have just worked out in every single way for you guys. The The album is fantastic. Good luck on the award show. If you actually win, we will send you a, a physical trophy to uh, a P.O. box or something uh, for when you get back in town. There'll be something in there from us. But uh, you guys are amazing, man. Just keep up the hard work and the hustle, and, and God bless you guys. Thank you, homie. You too. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Ladies Thank and gentlemen. You. The one, the only. Catch your breath! Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> 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 See you, fellas. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.